in this lesson we are going to learn about magnetic circuits okay so we know that in an electrical circuit i have a emf which is electromotive force that drives a current along a closed path right now if you were to look at a magnet okay you have a north and south pole and you have magnetic field lines that move from north to south in closed loops okay so if you were to take a analogy from your electrical circuits you can say that there is a nmf which is your magnetomotive force magnetomotive force that drives this flux around your closed path okay so this concept of a magnetomotive flux that is driving a flux around a closed path is known as your magnetic circuit okay just like you have a electrical circuit where emf is driving the current you have a magnetic circuit where a mmf is driving the flux okay so your current is basically your flux and your emf is basically your mmf in a magnetic circuit okay just understand all these are just concepts there is no actual magnetic current which is flowing and there is no mmf which exists okay just to draw an analogy and to understand our concepts better we say that there is a mmf which drives the flux around a magnet okay so just like you have a conductor over here that allows your current to flow when you have a magnetic circuit you have a magnetic medium okay so let's just say you have a coil through which current is flowing okay so we know that whenever current flows in a loop we have magnetic field okay so basically you are going to have magnetic field like a loop over here and in this particular instance your magnetic medium is your a okay now if you want to confine this flux within a certain region then what you can do is you can just use a magnetic material or a ferromagnetic material something like this okay so you can have a ferromagnetic core through which you have your wound coil and you can just pass the current something like this okay so now what happens is all your magnetic flux is confined within this magnetic core okay so over here this core is going to be a ferromagnetic material having a permeability of mu okay now you must be knowing that your emf is given by your line integral e dot dl okay e is your electric field and this is your line integral over the closed path okay so if this is your electrical circuit then if this is your closed path then the line integral of e dot dl over this closed path gives you your emf okay so having a similar concept we can say that my mmf is given by line integral h dot dl over the closed path h is my magnetic field over here when we talk about mmf and e is the electrical field when we talk about emf okay so dl is along this closed path okay or if you talk about the core it's along this closed path now another thing that you must be knowing is your ampere's circuital law okay your ampere's circuital law tells you that this line integral is equal to n 